This is a Breaking Bread podcast. That sound was to signify that it's a Halloween special. <laughs> Another f***ing full English breakfast challenge. Do people watch it? What? Two million people are watching me eat another f***ing sausage. Get off. Halloween's yeah. already f***ing me off because, like, my, my street... This never used to be the case when I was a kid. Shock horror. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah. Like, Bad so like on my, on my street, there's like six houses which are fully decked out. And the weirdest part is one of the houses, they don't even have kids. So I'm like, Whoa, you're some probably some a nonsense. Yeah, yeah. nonsense stuff that. Um, I always thought you'd live on a street with nonsense. <laughs> it was a rip of mine. <laughs> I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. This is a Breaking Bread podcast. That sound was to signify that it's a... Halloween special. It was supposed to be like Dracula, but I ended up doing just the count from Sesame Street. <laughs> uh, and you can tell it's a Halloween special because of the sheer uh, effort that we have gone to. Uh, in, 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 in so far, yeah, what I, I say we, I say jo- what I mean is George, and um, it, neither of us have made any effort. Uh, although, although I made more effort seemingly than Josh because I'm wearing a, for the audio, this is a wearing a sweater, which has. Um, some some kind of a occultists worshiping a big yeah and you coffee. are and for the again for the audio listeners he's wearing the gothiest like shoes <laughs> like listen to me man <laughs> look at this stair right these, that, that's this that, just some bands. <laughs> they've got some little metal studs on them right but that that, that it's kind of like an accent piece it's not really the, they're not fully studied that's just stylish man that's hot don't you you cannot comment on what what is stylish well and what lad, is not you're stylish. the last person that kind of fucking never seen anyone wear as beat up shoes as you do you only have one pair what do you mean? Like you've only got one pair of shoes. I've got many pairs of shoes. Oh, but they all just look kind of the same and they're all equally beat up. Black, like, come on, man. Black you, you, if you're wearing those, just keep your mouth shut about other people's shoes, what? basically. Well, I, I don't understand. That's the most, the most inoffensive shoes. No, it was like this weird lime green thing. Even the soul's lime green. It's stylish. I mean, they're no no more or less stylish than these. Let's put it that way. Come on, I think pick, pick your battles. All right. Well, if you, say, I'm sure Danielle tells you that. But like, uh, <laughs> all right. Um, uh, how are you doing, mate? Other than like being wound up by my shoes, you like the people in the comments section. Oh my god, why are you tying your beard up? <laughs> why, why, why are you wearing the same fucking sweater in two different videos? Is that what they say to you? Some why are you wearing people, your yeah. cap backwards in every single yeah. one? You're 38. That's a valid one. No, you're 38 yeah. years old. Why, why are you wearing a baseball cap backwards? I don't know, mate. It's just kind of like stuck now. Adam's a little bit um, angry today because no, no, we're, I'm, I'm we're, not. Is a full, I'm not. Oh, he's not yet. Not yet. Uh, we're doing a full day of work today. Uh, we, we're clocking in, aren't we? Because we, he wanted to record yesterday, but he had to get his John Wick haircut. No, no, uh, you had to get. I, I booked my haircut time specifically for twelve o'clock so we could do the podcast. And I go down the way home. You're the one that's like, oh, mate, I've got loads of stuff on, and then I see you like, I don't know, on on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> fucking, I don't even know what you were doing, like reposting shit from Jake or whatever. I don't know what you were doing, but like, you were doing something. Yeah, I had my haircut. He had his haircut. So we decided to, we'll do it today. And then we're going out later on to film a video for your channel, aren't we? So yeah. you're going to have a really. Sorry, new, people. You know, those, those people don't like the videos with the crew. One's happening. On the plus side, probably won't be up to like 2027. 20, so, like, uh, <laughs> you got a little while to wait for that. How's George? How does yeah. it feel to be a quarter century? Pretty weird. I don't like it, to be honest. No, no. 25 is like, that's peak age, man. Yeah, that's the best year of your life. It's Twenty. I, I, in my okay. mind, 25 is the best, the, the best year of your life. Oh, wow. I think. <laughs> Fuck it. I was deep in it. I, I might do a scientific, for me a bit. scientific study on that to, to prove it at some point, but I, I believe that to be true. You got a bit, you, were, um, you had a bit of popularity last week because we put you on the Instagram story for the Breaking Bread podcast. Yeah, quite a few comments. The DMs that. were sliding by. Oh, brother, you know, I can't, I can't, this is going to get awkward, right? <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, my sister, I'm Ooh. sure she won't, she, I'm sure she won't mind me saying, right? Slid in the DMs. <laughs> she, she's, uh, you, you sprung the story here. Well, let's, not go, let's not go too far, Ed. She's a, uh, I say I'm sure she won't mind, she might mind, but she's getting divorced, right? <laughs> oh my God. She doesn't listen, so it's all right. Although I think she maybe, does listen. I think, nah, she says she, she doesn't really. Okay. But, um, <laughs> so anyways, she's been coming around to my house on a Saturday, you know, just for a little bit of company and everything. And uh, so I told her, I'm like, yeah, you know, George is a, is, is a, uh, a bit of a musician. She knew that anyway, but, um, She's like, oh, you know, maybe I need to go out on the pool. And she's like, is so she's asking me basically all, of all the people I know, which is not many, are any of them single? And I'm like, basically none of them. And I was like, George is probably a bit young for you. Though, yeah. you know? <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, I, speaking of George, he's got a really great, and I knew this anyway. I'm like, he's got a great voice. Um, she's like, what, George? I'm like, yeah, yeah. She's like, well, how, how do you know? I'm like, so I, sh- I play in the video. Yeah. I play her the video, sorry. Where he's like, oh, someone 
you told me yesterday. That, whatever that song that is, right? And she's like, instantly, she's like, ooh. Wow. Sister Ben slipping off the couch. <laughs> I, I said to her, I was like, I said to her, like, I was like, Linz, can you get something to put on the new sofa, please? Just in case. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Um, but I think he came to a senses. But I mean, it would not be the first time a lady has swooned at George singing, would, would it? So I, I just said, I mean, come on, you're like 35, and you're 10 years too old, I think. But you can, you can. Hey, you dream. never know. I'm we'll, flattered. We'll <laughs> he's, he's so hard when he's sad. He's, like, he's, going, he's blushing a little bit. I've never seen that before. But uh, yeah, yeah she, she very much enjoyed it. And, Maybe uh, that's why, because um, she uh, yours on Saturday, right? Is that when yes. she was sliding in my DMs? And, was uh, she doing that as well? <laughs> you, got you, married? Yeah, but yeah, not in that way. But she was uh, elbowing her way into the Christmas do. So yeah, she, I tried to put stops to that early. Yeah. That's when she took that video of me. So, right, so it gets weirder. So she's like, elbows, she's like, we're going to do a Christmas do. I said, well, look, I said, Christmas do starting at Ninja Warrior. And then we're going to continue on to like a meal and a night out. I said, so if you want to join the, you've got to do the whole thing. Because we've, we've got to have a head to head of athletic ability for the Ninja Warrior. And then the rest of the night. <laughs> imagine, imagine Mrs. Beard doing Ninja Warrior. <laughs> so now it's become like wags and sisters. No, uh, no, we're, no. Uh, what do you mean? You, you, you've agreed to it? No, no. Did you not see the hostage video <laughs> where she filmed me? Right. George, let me show you this video. I can, we can't play it on camera, but... Why not? I mean, we, we, all right. In fact, no, I don't, because I think I, I pro I'm probably just wearing pants. Like, what? Uh, yeah, so like, it says, it says, like, I'll play it out loud. Did she send it from a regular account? Or? I don't know, man. It's not that interesting. It's it just, is. It's me pretending that I'm in like a hostage scenario because Jen, Jen put a camera in my a phone in my face and said, tell Josh that it's all right for us to come to the Christmas party. So as a joke, I'm like, yeah, but oh, yeah, it's definitely okay. Send help. I'm blinking in Morse code and stuff. This message is not filmed <laughs> under duress. <laughs> I have completely agreed for the two women in my life to attend <laughs> this year's Christmas event, whatever that may be. Send help. <laughs> but what I don't understand is like on the thumbnail he's in his boxer shorts like why are you in your boxer shorts he just walks around in them all the time I'm at home what, what do you wear at home yeah, but if, my sister, if my sister were coming around I wouldn't be stood there in my bills fuck like I, I think she's she's probably seen enough right <laughs> <laughs> yeah get yourself fired <laughs> she's seen enough this is a horrendous podcast for Jenna we need to get back <laughs> on right. Anyway, we've, got, we've gone off pace. Aren't we supposed to do the comments? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's sorry. Back on track. I it's because I've not got notes in front of me. I wasn't allowed notes this week. George is leading the charge. Yeah, uh, yeah. Go on, then. What are we doing? Let's do some YouTube comments. <laughs> it's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so his first comment is from Karen Hepner. Hi, I'm not, uh, not a professional on dream analysis, but I've read multiple <laughs> books. Dreaming about cutting grass on your own usually is a sign of anxiety. Dreaming about watching your current partner cutting grass is a sign of pleasure and appreciation. But dreaming of an ex-lover cutting grass is a sign of cutting ties with the past. There's even differences in whether the grass was dry or green, etc. It was lush. It was lush grass. It was moist. So, so was it Karen? Uh, Karen? Or? Karen. Yeah. If, if, that, if that changes in any way that the grass was lush... You know, it's like I was in. A, it was like a meadow of of sorts, right? It wasn't dry grass. Um, he was reminding me of that. I didn't have that re that repeat dream, uh, <laughs> by the way. If, for those people that don't know what we're talking about, anyone you try to cut ties with, maybe Josh. <laughs> no, but like, why would it be her? Why would it have been an ex? Uh, ex lover's a bit strong. Uh, it's strong, right? Isn't it? <laughs> As um, Mrs. Beard, did she hear that podcast? Is she not? No, no, no. we're good. Okay. Sorry, right, yeah. Someone else has commented about uh, that dream as well. Oh, Matthew yeah. James, uh, dreams about someone cutting grass is a premonition for seizing an opportunity. There is a situation or relationship that you are trying to keep at a distance. You may be feeling emotionally or physically unclean. <laughs> the dream refers to the conscious mind. You are being pulled in opposite directions or you do not know which viewpoint is right. Right, but both of those just seem like that's that. That's so that, deep. That's, no, they just sound like that horoscope bullshit, you know, these people <laughs> making stuff up. I, I, I appreciate the comments because it's, you know, if nothing else, get filled, what, like two minutes? But like, uh, I, I don't know about that. I think maybe, I don't know. I Welcome to Beard think, Therapy Session. Think, What's in your mind? About past, on, I'm all right, us. man. Although, you know what, that, I, I, uh, I knew it was going to be a good day today. Maybe the, the video as well later on is going to be good because as I left the house, a bird sh uh, shat... <laughs> I said shat pooed, you know, shit, shat. Shit, shit like right next to me and I avoided it. Not that's, like, no, I didn't dodge it. I like, think it's that's bad luck. Like, no, it's you're supposed to hit, if it lands on you, that's no, good No, but then that would have ruined my day. I'd have to go back in, get changed. <laughs> if it hit me in the head, I'd have to be in there like two hours late and I'd have to wash my hair and everything. Um, 
So I'm, I'm in a generally positive frame of mind today, especially since the last video that I put up was the 10th, 10th best performance. So basically the worst video I've put up in the last like four months or something. It's funny though, because it's still like one and a half million in a day, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, it's all, I suppose it's relative, isn't it? But I don't get hung up about that. People seem to still enjoy it. It was like a backup that video as well. I don't like, know how you did, like I watched, I, I watched that video and I don't know how it's, po I don't know if I saw it ending actually. Did you finish it? Yeah. What the fuh? The, the fuh. Yeah. Fuh. I don't, I don't understand how it's physically possible to put that in your body. You know, when you see it in a bowl of the, of the, yeah. like the, from a liquid standpoint, I'm like, that has got to be harsh. And then you said like you had fat legs afterwards, fat feet, <laughs> yeah, Sal it's, salty feet. It's gross, man. Cause like, you know, you get your socks on, right? Yeah. And then like you get home after you, like long drive, or whatever, or the next hotel or whatever, and then you get undressed, you're like, oh, let's relax. And then you've got like, you know, with the, the top of your sock is it's like dug into uh, your skin so you've got his line as if, as if your hands like memory uh, your foot your calves like memory foam oh or something. my god so that's kind of gross but uh yeah it was, was alright I kind of fucked up the lighting though as well it looked horrible but <laughs> what uh any more comments got one from Dave Baseman Beard if you're peeing three times a night get it checked out bro <laughs> I saw that yeah it was really a, that was a, this was a bit of a doomy one wasn't it <laughs> yeah. hell yeah yeah, my dad had that issue in his late thirties. Doctors kept telling him it's nothing. He kept pushing because he knew it wasn't right. Then they found a tumor on his kidney and removed it. Don't want to scare you or anything. It's Get not it checked, a tumor. <laughs> Don't want to scare you or anything. Uh, no, nah, I'm, 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 I'm cool, man. I think. I mean, I just can't. I, I always say uh, uh, to to Lindsay, like when I die, it'll be because I refuse to go get something checked. Because uh, I can't stand talking to doctors. It's just not because I'm like a weird. And it's not long since you had a finger up your ass. So like, yeah, I think my well, your prostate's not the same thing, is it? But uh, I I'll probably bring it up when I have my dishes. But I, like, I've I've always peed during the night. It's just become more noticeable. I think because my sleep is really bad. I don't think it's that, like I really desperately need to pee. I think it's just that like I'm awake. So I think. And I, I imagine you pee. are like extremely hydrated compared to the yeah, that's general true. population. Like, and most of the fluid that I drink is later in the day. So like in the morning I'll have like coffee, which is a diuretic, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then I don't really drink much until like I eat and then I'll drink loads after that. Yeah. Which is not ideal, but <laughs> I think that's probably the reason for it. Well, I'm glad we got to the bottom but of that But thanks, one. Dr. Uh, Steve or whatever he's called. Dave. Dave. Dave Bass, man. Dr. Dave yeah. Bass. What's that movie? With, uh, with Slap, it, Slap of the Bass. Slap of the Bass. Slap of the Bass. Uh, it's right, yeah. What is that? But I, 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 I love, you, I love man. you, man. Yeah. yeah. Classic. You knew I'd seen that one. <laughs> yeah, it's your kind of thing. Slap of the Bass. Slap of the Bass, man. <laughs> is it, he, is it, he loves Rush, doesn't he? It's the band Rush. Which yeah. Which like a lot of people don't even know. <laughs> Geddy, what's he called? Geddy Lee, the guy from Rush. Anyway, it's like that. I'm too old. One more comment from <laughs> Big Fan 8830. One of these guys will reach 1 billion views on YouTube this week. The other is Josh. <laughs> it's, it's like we've got a combined Instagram following of about a quarter of a million. <laughs> it's just that he's got 243,000 of them. <laughs> is that true? I don't know. Ah, fuck knows. I don't know what you've got. I've got on Instagram. I never keep track it's of like, it. It's like the subscriber thing. He's got, you know, between us, we've got three and a half million subscribers. <laughs> 266,000 apparently. Whoa. I've made 910 posts. Which just tells me that I've been doing this too long because I, I barely even post like once a week on Instagram. Yeah, you do barely post. Anyway. Thank, yeah, thanks whoever big fan is. That's it the YouTube I sound, comments. I sound like you're saying big fanny. <laughs> <laughs> big fan, one, two, three. Cheers for the comments, boys and girls. What's uh, what's on the agenda today then, Georgie boy? What have you got planned? Well, it's Halloween, so we're playing a few Ooh, spooky When games. is Halloween? Next Tuesday. When this... Well, we are filming on... Wednesday at the minute, so it'll be the following Tuesday. But this has got to come out this week? Yeah. Oh. This will come out either tomorrow. Okay. Or... I think, provided it's in advance of Halloween, it's all right, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it has to come out on Halloween. Like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> uh, Halloween's already pissing me off because, like, my, my street... This never used to be the case when I was a kid. Shock horror. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, like, fucking bad. So, like, on my, on my street, there's, like, six houses which are fully decked out in, like, Halloween paraphernalia, right? Festooned with... with <laughs> You know, hello, spooky <laughs> shit, right? And the weirdest part is one of the houses, they don't even have kids. So I'm like, Whoa, you're probably a sex offender. Yeah, yeah. nonsense stuff, that. Um, I always thought you'd live on a street with nonsense. Yeah, but maybe, but um, <laughs> the, the house prices are low. But, um, yeah, I'm just like, what, man? I, I wanted to, I said to Liz, I was like, shall I just put an anonymous letter through his door saying, this is not, FYI, this is not America, right? Halloween, it's bullshit anyway. And you could do it for a day, right? Two days. Why have you got Halloween decorations uh, uh, like up at the beginning of October? It What's is, wrong with you? Yeah, it's getting a bit American, -y, isn't it? But I feel like that. But then there'd be some hypocrisy in that because though, if they, the neighbors would almost certainly know it was me. 
just because of my general demeanor. Right. Even though the letter was anonymous. And then they would see, you know, like November 1st, they'd be looking through my living room window and there'd be a tree. And they'd be like, well, hang, wow. hang about, you know, cause, but not because of me, because of Mrs. Beard. So I didn't put the letter through their doors, but it, it, it has started to kind of wind me up a little bit. <laughs> Have you seen that thing where it's like, can't wait to see my neighbor's face when they realize the hanging body from the tree is actually me. <laughs> <laughs> a few days after Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> That's dark, that fucking hell. For a disclaimer before I've said that. Adam, Adam appreciate that one, I can oh. tell. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Got a morbid sense of humour. Go on then, what's, what's occurring, kid? Are you doing anything for Halloween? Do you anything for Tilly, Josh? I don't she know, going mate, trick or treating this year? You take, take no, we're not trick or treating. Huh? And we are like, like, I'm literally like, come home, turn all the lights off, go upstairs. <laughs> is, is, Dan, is Danielle taking the trick or treating? No, I don't think, she's too young for that. How old is she? Two. Oh yeah, that probably is too young, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you just dress her up as. I don't even know what you dress her up as. That's. I mean, like. I think we're gonna. Go, we, we tend to, We tend to take her to like the family's house. She does a little trick or treat. Uh, I think she's getting dressed up as a black cat this year. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, don't confuse her for like. A, don't like leave her somewhere. <laughs> I think like, oh, we we have a cat now. I don't remember having a cat. <laughs> that's the. That's it's, the. It's weird though Halloween in, in general, isn't it? It's just an odd thing. It's like this bizarre occult kind of folklorish. Thing that I don't even know why it still exists. You should get into it. You've got like, and I don't think I don't think it was a thing in, in like for my parents when they were young. They not they never tell me that they went out like on Halloween. I think it was like an exported holiday from uh, yeah. America, right? And we just kind of took it. up. We used to go trick or treating. Yeah, we, I did. We, we, we spoke about this last year. Yeah, like mischievous that. night is like the night before Halloween. That would better. I never did that. You know. Despite we, being mischievous. Should I, we, we should I, do I a mischievous night. Should we go like egg some houses? Should we'll we go, go around right? Molly and egg like the businesses and stuff. Oh, I was gonna say like Danny from Rip My Takeaway. You know. What <laughs> <laughs> I got an egg daddy from Rip My Takeaway. That'd be so funny. We filmed it. I don't know where he lives as well. <laughs> Imagine being meets food egg in his house. <laughs> yeah, that, could, that could be my first video on TikTok. <laughs> Just the one video. Yeah. <laughs> now then, guys, who's egging my house out there? <laughs> oh my god. Come on. What about you? What you did? Oh, absolutely nothing. No, not absolutely gigging. Nothing. It's a big. It's a big kind of going out night as well. Like Halloween. I'm gigging now. this Saturday, but not on Halloween night. You're gonna it's play, Tuesday. You're gonna play Monster Mash, or at least one Halloween song. No, I wanted to get a rehearsal in and do Thriller, but we can't um, squeeze a rehearsal in this week, so it's not gonna happen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Uh, did you get like an influx of um, inquiries to your band after we spoke about it last week? No, we got some followers though on the page. All oh, right, okay. What you chaired. Don't, don't say that because we're not going to get those brand deals, man. <laughs> if, if we're admitting that like our, our reach doesn't even get like George a booking. <laughs> What's a brand deal? To if be honest, I'm... we're not needing bookings. We're getting loads at the minute. Anyway, Whoa, so, look so. at Big Dog. He's going to fucking retire us in a minute. Billy like, Big Bollocks over you there. You boys are on your own. I'm a musician for life now. It's all right. All documentaries are finished, mate. So you can do what you want. <laughs> right, what, come on, what game's playing? Right, so I've got three games for us to play. <coughs> 55 points available. And it's a weird number, but that's just what it's fallen into. So Should we preface this by saying this is not Breaking Beard, right? This is not and Breaking don't, Beard. I, 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 we've just been waiting for, naturally, Stinky Fish is not easily uh, obtainable. So I've been waiting. Apparently it's supposed to come between the 24th and 26th. And as of right now, we are on the, the precise day between those two dates. So... Uh, with any luck, it's not yield or delivering it because if it is, I'm not home and it'll just get hoofed into the neighbor's garden. Or something, so. <laughs> I hope it bursts as it goes through your box. But that is happening and Josh is going to eat it or if he flakes out again. That was the hope that it happened today, but it just sank. Sorry. Time. I'll eat it. Can I, I, I'll eat it. Can I, can, why are <laughs> like, no, you like, oh, hey, Josh, well, I'll eat the fucking fish. You, like, you, you say that now, but you probably would have said that about the bugs. As soon as you smell it, you're going to be like, you've got like the worst gag reflex. I like, have, actually. If I fart, you you start gagging. So like... In my head, I'm just thinking tuna though. No, it's not. No. <laughs> it's stronger than that. Yeah. No, but How I mean, do you know? You've not smelled it before, have oh, you? I can imagine. It's a lot stronger. If you've seen the videos, it's like... It's, I've not seen the videos. It's, it smells like a dead body, right? So you, you're not going to... I don't think the taste is inherently that bad but it's, you don't want to if you smell something that smells bad you it's biologically program it. not to, yeah, yeah you program not to eat something that smells bad <sighs> uh, yeah ferment yeah what does yeah. fermented mean what does that fucking rotten just, yeah, it means yeah. it's like rotted allowed to rot in a controlled fashion yeah anyway if he doesn't eat it I'll eat it <laughs> so you'll get some enjoyment out of it right so the first game we're going to play is uh, guessing the movie quotes Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Don't worry, Josh, because we've got these three games right, but I've added 
a bonus like quick fire round that means that you could take all his points. <laughs> oh, sick. This is all not worthwhile at all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's play the bread carpet. I thought it was the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror music then for a second. It sounded <laughs> a bit like that. Not far off. Right. Those were excellent. Those used to be my favourite types of episodes. You know, back when the Simpsons was good, they yeah. still make it. Yeah, still going. They need to just can that, don't they? You know what I mean? Like, you can do too much or something. People probably say that about our podcast. Probably say that about your channel. <laughs> really <laughs> How the fuck's he still going? <laughs> How's this? He just he eats stuff every week. The people are like, probably confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another fucking full English breakfast challenge and people watch it. What? Two million people are watching me eat another fucking sausage. Get off. <laughs> yeah, that's where we are, fucks. <laughs> Look at his face. I know it's me. Oh no, they're on to me. <laughs> okay, so we've got some movie quotes here. And what you need to do is guess the film and bonus points if you can guess the year that it was released. Uh, uh, you're going to be so bad at this, I'm not even going to put my hand on this. <laughs> Right, okay, go on then, George. I'm going to be so, so bad. First one. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yep. man, what? 1993. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, my God. What? Boys and girls so you got like two points for that? Yeah. Fuck. It's bonus Are you going to keep score of these? Because, so like. Yeah. Right, cool. So there's 30 points available in this round. A weapon down there. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> I'll let you win. <laughs> okay, next quote. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. <laughs> Ghostbusters? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just guessing. I feel like it's going to be one of those that. Um, the clue is in the quote. Sounds like a porno. The clue is in the quote. <laughs> Something to do with ju- Beetlejuice. Yes. Oh, um, good one, man. And what that year will have been. Released in? 1998. No. Fucking divvy. 1989. Close. I don't know. 1988. Ooh. Fucking divvy. Is it what? What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> so do I get one point? So you get one point, yeah. Sick. It's two they're, doing a, they're doing a sequel of that, aren't they? Are they? Oh, God. I don't know why. Just something like that, just leave it alone, man. All right, next one. Josh, this is more on your level. <laughs> mystery is my mistress. I must heed her sweet call. <laughs> that sounds like something Austin Powers would say, but it's not a, a Halloween film. Clue is in the word mystery. Scooby, one of the Scooby Doo films. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scooby Doo Two: Monsters Unleashed. I've, well, I've no <laughs> idea what year that came out. I want to guess. Uh, Two thousand and. 12. No. <laughs> I've no. I've literally no idea. Go on, have a guess. I, I don't know. I don't, how many times has it, has it been adapted? Uh, t- uh, 2008? 2004. Oh. Really? When did it first? Oh, I don't matter. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> when did, I don't, every list is like, fuck this fucking podcast this week is shit. <laughs> well, that's, at least it's informative. You could get yeah, this. It might help you on pub effort. quizzes. And I fucking hate these multiple... Like, it was even multiple... I just hate these quiz like, <laughs> just games. Just can't do them. Yeah, I'm shit. I'm doing right here so far. I'm doing right here. <laughs> right, next one. Isn't the view beautiful? It takes my breath away. Well, it would if I had any. Oh, uh, Adam's family. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just tell us, man. I don't know. It's the corpse bride. Oh, Tim Burton's Tim the corpse. I went to the cinema to see that. He's seen every film. This guy, hasn't he? That's a bit embarrassing. Has it a guess at when it come out? Oh, yeah, it would have been... uh, Give me a second. 2006. 2005. 2005, yeah. 20-year-old going to see the corpse bride at the cinema. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next one. I'm every nightmare you've ever had. I'm your worst dream come true. I'm everything you were ever afraid of. Uh, It was Freddy Krueger that said it. Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Nope. No? Nope. Oh, said that with confidence as well. He did say that with a lot of confidence. How embarrassing. I would have said, says, I would, says nightmare. It? I would have guessed that as well, to be fair. I'm every nightmare you've ever had. I'm your worst dream come true. Oh, I know what. Can, I, can I guess again? Go on. <laughs> Probably press a button again. Uh, it's uh, Pennywise from It, Stephen King's It. It is. Fuck. Do I get this point still? Uh, yeah, I'll give you the point. 
Uh, fuck. What year was it released? That came out in 1990. Yeah. Fucking oh. yeah. Up your ass, Gudgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Up your ass. What? Am I on fire? Put, put that in the intro. Up <laughs> <laughs> your ass, Gudgeon. <laughs> yeah. I have that as my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 5 1 to Adam currently. Uh, Whitewash. Booking cricket scar kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Sounds the lambs. Yep. Um, yes. And I think that is 1984. No. Okay. But it is Sounds the lambs. 1986. No. 1989. No. 1991. Right. Yes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Did I get a point? Yeah, I'll give you the point. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dad's favourite film, which I, I was thought, like, ah, oh, cool. And then, like, the older I got, I was like, it's kind of creepy. That was your favourite <laughs> film. <laughs> kind of explains you a bit. So yeah, like, watching people setting the dicks on fire. And... Oh, I actually, got, I'll tell you later on, but like, I watched the film in the spirit of like having something to talk about today, last night. But tell we, us, can we, you tell us it now? We'll get, I mean, like, it's, on, it breaks like, up a bit. it's the middle of George's game, though. Yeah, it's all right. It's got loads of time. It's not a great story, but like, so, cool. okay, I watched this film last night called Teeth. Have you heard of it? Oh, the vagina that's got teeth. Vagina the dentata. Fuck? Yeah, so I've been aware this. It's not a new not, film. It's, I've not seen this. <laughs> it's been around for a long time, and, but I've never seen it. I thought I need to see this because it's kind of a bit of a cultural touchstone, right? Everyone oh is aware of it. God. And uh, I thought it would, because it's kind of like a, it's like a horror comedy, <clears> I guess. Um and because of that, I thought it was going to be mostly suggested. So you, the first part is that this guy is trying to, you know, she's saying like, no, I don't want to have sex. Right? And he's kind of forcing herself upon oh her. God. Um, but you don't really see much of it, right? And then you hear him go like, because she's got these teeth in her, in her vagina. And you're thinking, oh, this is all suggested. But as it go, <laughs> the film goes on, it becomes more explicit to the point that then it has like momentary crotch shots of these guys missing their knobs because they've just been bitten off. And then it culminates... <laughs> This is the worst part, right? At the end, like a uh, brother has got some weird kind of incestual. Uh, he wants to sleep with his sister, basically, right? And he's a bit of a deviant, and you know. So at the end, he's he's trying to like force himself on her, right? And um, she's like ac- accepting it because she wants. To, she knows that she's got this power now, so she wants to, you know, um, bite his dick off, effect- effectively castrate him yeah, with a vaginal teeth. <laughs> Fanny Nashes, and <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a better name for the film, actually. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so th- anyway, so th- she bites it off, right? And then there's, there's a shot, which you have to admire cine- cinematography. It's, it's good cinema. So it's between, a, like, from behind a, a lower level, so it's just her feet, yeah. her legs. Yeah. And then you see her brother like, ah! Yeah. And then the knob drops out onto the floor, and then his dog runs along and eats his knob. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the one that dragged it into the toilet this week, right? Whoa. I'm sorry, but uh, like, you can never complain at me again. Uh, like the funny thing is though, it's actually quite a good film in and of itself. It's not, it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's um, sensitively done. It's not, but it's, I just it's quite I, a good film. I don't think I could watch anything like that. Like it just creeps me out too much. Yeah, I tried to watch that Jimmy Savile documentary. Uh, well, Jimmy Savile, um, Steve Coogan. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now then, now then. It this podcast is all fun, fun, fun. <laughs> that was a good impression, actually. <laughs> but I watched the first one and I'm like, I, I, I couldn't watch anymore. I've, I've not been able to finish it because it just creeps me out too yeah, much. Yeah, it's weird. Like that's, yeah. I, I, I watched it as well though. He does. Yeah, well. I, I, I watched it. Only because Lens wants to watch it. I normally don't watch TV series, but I like Steve Coogan and he's a good impressionist, so. He, he nailed it, but yeah, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't watch that. I couldn't watch the forceful, rapey scenes of, Fanny Yeah, Fanny <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'll just stick, no, to, like, I'll stick to Turbo the Scale. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, but it's the men, the, the idea is that all the men are getting what they deserve, right? So the, these men are all forcing us, themselves upon this, this yeah, woman yeah. and they get, you know. Why is, why is there so many men trying to force themselves on one woman? Uh, because it services the plot of the film. <laughs> I don't, oh, right, I don't okay, know. Yeah. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just talking about. <laughs> Men being rapey bastards, I don't know. I, I don't write the film. Put that in the, in the intro of the podcast as well, just to make sure nobody listens yeah, this week. Yeah. Uh, hey, what, what, what's the next question, George? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next quote. I'm a messenger of God. You're doomed if you stay here. This place is cursed. Cursed. 
That one escapes me. I have no idea, George. I get the feeling that Josh doesn't either. Scooby-Doo one. No. Uh, that puts out our misery. It's Friday the 13th. I never really got, I, I don't think I've ever seen one of those a full way through. I think I've only ever seen like Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> this is like the scary films that I've seen. Final Casper Destination. Casper the Ghost. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Wait. Cool <laughs> any, story, mate. Any Next question. when that came out? Uh, I, th- I did made about 15 of those, haven't I? Um, First original. 1987. No. No? 1980. Next one. Okay. This is my costume. I'm a homicidal maniac. They look just like everyone else. It looks like some kind of horror comedy. Um, but I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. It, it, where's the context in the quote? I don't know. How many fucking questions is this? I know, that? man. It's 10. That's number eight. Oh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Quick, let's go. How the fuck were there 55 points up for grabs then? Not in that one. There's 30 oh, in points total. in that one in total. Uh, 55. Right. I get it. Oh. <clears throat> no guesses. Are we close? We're like, you're almost neck and neck, aren't we? No. <laughs> six, six two to Adam. I don't know, mate. We don't know. It's the Adams family. Ah, oh, I said that earlier. If we, if you cut it, if you can clip between it, <laughs> you could put me going, me, Adams family, and then go, oh, just got another point there. <laughs> That's what I said. Any guesses when it was released? Uh, oh, 90, it Adam, Adams family values. Original Adams 1995. 1995. 990? Close. 91? 91. Uh, Next one. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Oh, oh, not Barbara. <coughs> Go on, Adam, you've got this, lad. Is it fucking... Is it like Tommy Knockers? No. Damn. Uh, Children like, of the Corn? Sounds like a porno, that. Is what? Children of the Corn? No. <laughs> fucking I don't know, then. It's the Night of the Living Dead. Uh, oh, yeah. you tip my tongue. I was about to say that. Yeah. Last one, go. What year? Oh, uh, I don't know, 1982? Close, 1980. All right, last one. I'm your friend to the end. This is the, the guy that says Chucky, right? But that's not the name of the film. Ah, uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, <laughs> Shit. You made a proper... Child's Play. Yeah, Child's yeah. Play. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, the year? 1983. No. Uh. Josh? I, I proper zoned out then, mate. I, even checked, I checked Instagram and everything. I don't know what the work I, 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 putting the scaffold in. I don't know what the fuck you're on about. 1992. No. All right. 19, 1989. <laughs> Ooh, I did all right there, though. What was it? 7-2. Seven, seven, seven Ooh. Close. Yeah. Very close. close. I'm proud of you there, mate. I'm proud that you actually Cheers, scored man. some points. Uh, I got recognised again out, out, out in public. People must be listening to this podcast. Uh, I got no, a, I don't believe it. I got a DM on Instagram and been like, did I just see you at Tesco's? Admittedly, I saw it. Like two days later, because it went into like the request folder on on the old Instagram. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it just shows people must be either listening or what must be watching because some people might not know what I look like. It's mind, it's mind blowing to me that people do actually just listen though. It, this more is people bad. actually listen than I watch. Know, but like, this is and we put all this effort into fucking video it's, production. It's, it's, bad, it's bad enough that when you watch it though, like I can't imagine how much worse it is if you if you just. I listening. think it's a better experience in it if you're in your car and you're just listening to this. No, I think it's more that people don't really have shit to do in their car. So they prepare to tolerate <laughs> lower quality things. <laughs> they just listen to whatever. I listened to the Gordon Ramsay podcast on uh, high performance. That were really good, actually. Yeah, so he's, not been, he's not been mentioning my, uh, me going down and nah. uh, smashing up his pizza thing. I thought he'd done like a reaction video. You know, like that's what he does isn't it, on Instagram. Does he? Gordon reacts, yeah. Not only to people cooking. Oh, yeah, he, he, knows like fucking, stuff. he knows our fucking stuff. He knows our copyright claim his ass. <laughs> little gimp. <laughs> that's, he's a fucking angry little angry man, today. I'm joking, calm down. What else is on the agenda then? We're just playing another game. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is the premise of this podcast, sir. Uh, I don't like it. There's <laughs> jo- a door. Jo- I'm all right. George has got all this effort. I know, to bless you. <laughs> Can we Give just, him a break, man. How good does that look? I think we should it's keep nice, this up year yeah. round. Just for those that are listening, we've got like a pumpkin autumnal, what would you call that? Uh, a, a sash? A... Uh, 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 Re- uh, not re- not a wreath. What is it? A, there's probably a, a gar- garland. Garland. That's what it is, isn't it? That's what it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. A garland well, over to, the breaking bread we, sign. We would have to change it four times a year, you though. Keep that up through autumn. Yeah, not but all year round. No, you'd have to change it at Christmas. It'd be a, that'd be easy. Christmas. You probably do. The, yeah. You can get a Christmas garland probably yeah. B and M for like a quid. Uh, I don't know what a spring garland would look like. Lambs I have lambs hanging on it. Yeah, like Easter <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, God, what's what's the next 
Okay, okay the just, next one is uh, guessing the music. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. This is like Adam's <laughs> demonetized. I'm going to check out again this week. This is Adam's podcast. You've got, you've got more of a chance of I'm more interested. Control. I think you have a chance of stealing it at the end. I, I, oh, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm more interested in the Patreon section because we've got, we've got like the, the non-PG stuff for that, which is what you'd sent into the chat. We're going to put that into Lad, the We've been talking about dogs eating dicks. This, <laughs> this has not been PG so far, trust me. All right, we're ready to play. Yeah. Is it a buzzer thing, situation again, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is Another One Bites the Crust. Another One Bites the Crust. Did, you, did we have that jingle last year? We did. What a boy, yeah. What a fucking I'm not guy. making new ones. This is, you need to give him, come on, man. He's got to at least get a Christmas bonus. <laughs> <laughs> you know how little money is. Like, this makes no, like, we lose so much. Just for, for reference, like, when we joke about this on the podcast all the time, but like, we, so we, you, you make n- zero pounds from Spotify. So and most people listen to the podcast. And then on YouTube, <laughs> we, I think it makes 200 pounds a month in ad revenue. So you've got to imagine how much it costs to physically make this podcast. Like just to put, like we put the we heat, don't do it it's cold money. now, we put the heat on, like it didn't even cover the heat in Bill. We don't, so we don't do we it for don't, money, we're we're not for, for God's sake. And it's quite funny that, because I think people appreciate that in the comments that we, we cl- quite clearly do not do this for money. We do it just to turn up and, uh, well, leather each other for an hour a week. Yeah. Anyway, George, go on. Okay, we're ready. How are we going to play this if it's going to go onto the old YouTubes? We just said we don't get little, money. Little we, tiny we snippets. Yeah, but we don't get we don't make money. Yeah, just, just get demonetized on purpose. Okay, first one. <laughs> News to me. That's like you know when you used to do music at school and you get your Casio out and you just <laughs> teach me talking. You'd be like, I <laughs> seen that where uh, demo. <laughs> where they're explaining how we made is it Clint Eastwood the song by Gorillaz. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's, it's just a preset on yeah, the yeah. keyboards. I've, I've seen like that, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, what a weird that. band, wouldn't it? Uh, no, playing. I don't know what it is. Uh, Maybe somebody's, somebody's watching me. me. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, bonus yeah, point yeah, for yeah. the artist. Whoa. Uh, it's like uh, fucking uh, Irene Cara or something. Uh, no. Shit, <laughs> I don't know. It's Rockwell. So does that mean that nobody got a point there? No, you got a point. Who? Adam. I sang it though. Yeah, but I buzzed it. Yeah. Played by the rules. Oh, God. Buzzing it. Okay. Next oh, one. we had spoke about our film with Paddy the Baddy last week. Oh, oh, oh a fucking ghost, man. Mary on a cross. Yeah. What a fucking tune that is. We- very weird concept for a song, but um, I love ghosts, man. I mean, they've got some really shit songs, but they've got some really ace ones. You know, like you get those bands where like they, they do broadly everything you can listen to. Like Nickelback. Like, <laughs> no, but the, no, Nickelback are an example of what I'm talking about. So like they've got mostly shit songs, but then some really, really good ones. I think Nickelback, Nickelback, Nickelback. Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> That's my search history. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelback. They're, fucking, they're just like banger after banger. No, do you have any Nickelback albums? Yeah. So like, okay, so you know, like, so you have an album, a Nickelback album that you can listen to like start to finish and yeah. every song is good. Yeah. On that, on their album. Yeah. All right, well, maybe I stand correct. That one with the car on the front. The one with the car on the front. Yeah, yeah. That's a good album. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. But what I'm saying basically is that Ghost, I love that song, right? But um, (laughs) Ghost largely. I'm surprised you picked that one because there's like... Well, you complained last year that there was no Ghost in that. Oh, did I? No, so it was never for my benefit. Can I I just interject at this point and just... So we mentioned last week that I was going to film with, potentially film with Paddy the Baddy. Can you do this after the section? <laughs> I don't know. Because like, there's nothing to fill the section. Just put it in, just put it in. Does it matter? Yeah, go for it. I'm not in charge this week. Like, he's in charge this week. You tell me, mate. It's not. It's, it's a shit story, to be fair. Your name's above the door, mate. But you tell the story. <laughs> well, I, I went and- It'd be a good little clip for a fucking shit talk or whatever. Shit. So are, we, are we on there? On TikTok, we have got back. I mean- I used it in about a year. He gave up on it yeah. and I've not. I don't think I ever started on it, to be honest. No? I think you set it up. I give you the logins, I think. Stuff, but I don't think I've posted a single TikTok for us. <laughs> Good for you, George. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I went and filmed with Paddy the Baddy last week. Well, I went and filmed with, with Shem Rock and he, f- he trains out of um, Next Gen Liverpool and Paddy, Paddy the Baddy was there. So I finally got to meet him. I've just got a quick question, sir. Yeah. Why did they say, they say it like that? Why did they say he trains out of instead of he trains at? Like, you know, I wouldn't say like I train out of my garage. I'd say like I train out, I train at my... Um, I think like, rather than just train, I train at, I think it probably gives a bit more recognition to the gym and the coaches. If you like it, they, th- this is like a, they produce, this is a production kind of, of uh, is that, yeah, I, yeah. I would, I'm guessing. Got um, it, mate. Got it. Yeah. Cause, cause they again. can train at loads of different gyms, but he's not training out of all of those gyms. Yeah. That's, that's his main, main 
haunt. Consider me uh, told. Go on. But yes, I finally got to meet him, and uh, it were it, it, it was nice enough. It would tr- it, obviously we were doing his tr- his bits and bats, but halfway through filming, and I wasn't filming him, I was filming somebody else. He like came over and like screamed at me, <laughs> right? Like shouted at me because I was wearing white socks. So what did I tell you earlier on, George, about his lo- the lower body fashion sense? Mate, if you were in there, God so, knows what he said. So I'm laughing, laughing and he's like, them shoes. he's like doing the full, like, like full pat of the body, like, what are you doing, lad? What are the, you know, what, what are the, I'm lad. And I'm like, I'm laughing. I've, I've, I'm like, what the fuck is he saying? Like, I don't know what, what are you saying to me? So apparently I, I didn't know what was going on. He basically said, don't do that again. I'll let you off this time. And I'm like, for what? <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Carried on about my day. Did an interview with him afterwards um, for, for part of the production thing. Uh, but funnily enough, he got his, he did not, somebody knocked his tooth out or he did jujitsu and knocked his front tooth out. Um, so hopefully that's fixed, Paddy. Um, but I went to get in touch with Tori Mike um, to get the, the lowdown of, of what had happened. And apparently... <laughs> Mike, can you translate what this cunt's saying? <laughs> he sent us a voice note in the chat explaining that basically, if you're not from Liverpool, you're classed as a wool, right? And nobody in Liverpool would ever wear white socks. Nobody. 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 <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> You're as bad as he is, man. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody in Liverpool would wear white socks. Apparently so. So if anybody, this is like a public service announcement. If you're going to go to Liverpool, which we are this afternoon, don't wear white socks. Have you got white socks on? No, I put black socks on just because I, I, I consider myself tall. I, I literally do not own a pair of white socks. <laughs> and in fact, I don't think I own any white clothing. At, at all. Especially boxer shorts. <laughs> no, I, I used to, yeah. But in fact, you have because you've sent us shitty knickers before. Yeah, I've learned now. <laughs> um, yeah, but it is a bit Michael Jackson if you wear white socks with like black attire. You know, like, just sports. Like I mean, I had, I had Nike trackies on, Nike socks, and like an Under Armour like <laughs> zip. I had like gym gear on, so I'm fucking filming. Just, just in all, always ready for like athleticism, aren't you? Well, yeah, I was ready for some if, sporting events. Like fucking panic jumps on my back. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, but I'm not going to run around the gym wearing fucking skinny jeans and Vans, am I? Why? That's because it's own. not comfortable. Like, oh, right. They're not comfortable? Not to be like filming. Do you, you saw that on my Instagram where I fucking I ripped my, my jeans from bollock through, through to arsehole because I squatted. So I'm, and I'm on mats trying to get different angles. I'm not going to do that in skinny jeans. Right, but anyway, enough. the point of the matter is don't wear white socks in front of Paddy the Baddy. It's what we've learned. Oh, if you want to wind him up, do wear white socks. In fact, next time you should go dress like completely in white. Yeah. You know, not like, like a Ku Klux Klan. I should say like a ghost or a Ku Klux Klan. It's like just white, white tire. But anyway. I think if anyone's going to break you for having white socks, it can't be him. I know, man. Have you seen that, that dude's <clears> got a haircut? He's got, yeah, he's got a haircut like fucking Wurzel Gummidge. Come on, man. Well, he leathered me and... Uh, it's on camera, so I that's he's that. not watching this podcast. I, yeah, I'm sure he isn't. <laughs> I was going to say to him, but I, I, I were almost ready to be like, are you going to do a video with beard? And I thought, I can't be asked. I can't be asked having this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. Anyway, back to the game. That was just back a little... to the tunes. Okay. Tricky one, this. It's fairly newer. That little noise at the end like, made me think of Skrillex because it was just some weird kind of like uh, uh, synthy uh, distortion thing, but I, I don't know what it is. Is, it off, uh, is that off Machine Gun Kelly's new album? No. This, this whole thing could have been every one of Machine Gun Kelly's songs because they're all equally horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's called You Make Me Feel Like It's Halloween by Muse. Oh, oh. That old classic. It's a fairly new one. Running out. He sings like he's got asthma, that guy. He probably does. <laughs> Not that I'm dissing Matt Bellamy, man. Dude's an amazing Class. musician, but uh, they do. Get, you, you can't listen to them for like longer than I don't think like ten minutes. Oh, I could. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I just kind of lose like that a bit because you notice that like um, you don't notice it at first, but you can notice how much he breathes in, like you know, on, on record. It's not but, like noise gated. So be like, he sings like a crooner now. How oh, does he? So like, oh, you told me that. Like that all the time. Like, oh, that sounded spooky. That it's off putting. I don't know, I could listen to George's voice doing anything, it's nice. Go on, go on. Next one. Oh, fucking hell. It's, it's the song is that, what's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? I don't know if that's the name of it, but that's a lyric. It's the lyric, it's not the name. Oh. It's in that, but it's not Mo- as long as that. Monster? Yeah. Um, 
Is it like, oh man, it's one of those like mega shitty bands. Um, <laughs> the Automatic? Yeah. Fucking, yeah, they were shite. Do you shave your Sorry, hands? Mate. Uh, no. Shave my hands. <laughs> you scream <laughs> really a fucking like, werewolf. You've got really hairy arms that it stops at Yeah, them. I don't know what that's about actually. Um, <laughs> I mean, not many people have, apart from Rob, Robin Williams had really hairy hands, didn't he? But uh, yeah, I don't mind, just stops there, I don't know why. That's observation there. Uh, we must be close. Can we have a, uh, can we tell us the scores? <laughs> so I, feel like I'm just like a, I feel like I'm a, uh, I'm not a participant in this podcast. Let me chuck one in for you. Ah, it's Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. And what's the song? Bloody Valentine. Yeah. Whee! Not a Halloween song, but Whee! it's got bloody in the titles. <laughs> okay. Another one that might be on your level, Josh. Annie Nash's. <laughs> 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 ah, what's this Scooby Doo? <laughs> no, that's what he said. What's this Scooby Doo? Not what's this Scooby Doo? What's up? No. What's down? No. What's sideways Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby Doo, where are you? What's new Scooby Doo? Ah, oh, classic. Bye. It's shaggy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the band that do it? Shaggy. No. And the mysterious mystery bus. <laughs> <laughs> that was a ripper, mate. He's he's questioning his fucking life choices. In it, like, I think he's been on like what's up? I'm trying to figure out job websites now. Top of my head, indeed. Like, yeah. Indeed.com. Yeah, he's on LinkedIn. Open to work. Come on, me, George, direct you. It's it was simple fun. plan. Oh, I want chicken wings. Anyway, uh, what's next? How many more of these do we want to do? Fucking you're, 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 you're the you're the master. What's 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 the score? Five. In this round, 5-2 to Adam. I, I thought we just, up the total. we're just not totaling them. How long has right. this podcast been going on for? 45 minutes. Fucking Jesus Christ. All right, we'll do, we'll do one more. <laughs> Fire charge. Well, like, nah, if he's prepared, let's just do as many as possible. Nah, yeah, nah, I'll do one more. Okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's quarter to 12. We've got to get off soon. Two hours. Oh, I know this song. Specials, Ghost Town. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't have Monster Mash in there. I was I working in the lab late one I did, night. but you didn't want to hear it. Oh, so, so I, got, I got it without even hearing it. Whoa. Without even knowing it was there. It's got to be like You know what points. you win for that? A portion of Sir Strumming. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what, what, the, what are the scores on the doors total? Scores on the doors total is 14-4 to Adam. I'm quite happy. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm, quite, <laughs> I'm quite happy with the uh, performance so far, to be honest. Fucking whitewash, kid. Okay, I do have one more game, but cool. Do you want to play it? Yeah, I want to play yeah, it. I could like, play this all day long. Okay, okay. Let's go. It's Halloween Riddles. Oh. oh, I don't know about that now. Riddle me this and riddle me that. Okay. There's a lady in the garden cutting the grass with a fanny out. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the top window looking out. What does it mean? <laughs> we started off so strong. I know. We don't have a jingle for this one, unfortunately. When you and Sister Beard get together and you're at like fucking Sunday dinner, it's going to be weird, isn't it? Like mixing work and pleasure. Can you just like stop talking for a bit? <laughs> just, like, like, just like Joe do his thing. Okay. So this is like a what am I type of riddle. I have a name, but it isn't mine. You don't think about me while in your prime. People <laughs> cry when I'm in their sight. Others lie with me all day and night. What am I? An onion. No. <laughs> I'm really shit with cryptic stuff like this. Um, Can we go I, again? I thought you'd be really good at this. Can we go again? No, Do it again. Go. I won't listen. I have a name, but it isn't mine. You don't think about me while in your prime. People cry when I'm in their sight. Others lie with me all day and night. What am I? Obviously the answer is Halloween related. The Grim Reaper. No, that's weird. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really shit at stuff like this. Abstract things. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tombstone. Ooh. I have a name, but it isn't mine. <clears throat> you don't think about me while in your prime. People cry when I'm in their sight. Others lie with me all day and night. I don't know. I, I quite often think about what I would have written on my tombstone. So I wouldn't say I, I don't think, I mean, admittedly I'm not in my prime now, but um, it's not like you don't think about it, is it? What, do, what were you going to have on it? I, I think when you snuff it, there's going to be like, if you snuff it in your prime, uh, there'll be like a, a public... Uh, like outcry, I reckon we could have like outcry. Yeah, we could do we could do like a funeral at, Le at like Leeds Cathedral, and like everyone would turn out, all your fans. 
He did it with Jimmy Savile, didn't he, as well? That's right. That's right. Coming, coming, back, coming you, back to that. <laughs> I think my granddad actually went to that when he was alive. <laughs> Although a lot of people didn't, were duped, weren't they? Nobody knew. Nobody knew. All right, next one. Who makes it has no need for it. Whoever buys it won't use it. Who uses it won't care. What am I? Oh, man. These are, I'm, <laughs> if I, you know, if I had, if we, if, if I had one of these, like, life or death, I'd just, I'd be like, just end it, man. I can't, like, I can't. <laughs> go, go again, go, go again. <laughs> Who makes it has no need for it. Whoever buys it won't use it. Whoever uses it won't care. Coffin. Yeah. Well done, mate. Whoa. We've found your thing. Fuck yeah, let's go. It's a nice shame one. that this round is so short and you can't claw it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. I like these. Each morning I appear to lie at your feet. All day I will follow no matter how fast you run. Yeah, I nearly perish in the shadow. Day, so. Shadow. Fuck him. No, but he didn't buzz. I'm giving it to Josh, sorry. The fuck out of the <laughs> <laughs> He needs it. He needs it. <laughs> sorry, I'll, I'll buzz next time. All right. Next one. I am known to be bad luck when you see me in the dark. And oh, how I hate the rain. But one thing is for sure, you won't hear me bark. A black cat. Yes. He's actually good at these. <laughs> the shock, shock. The shock in your voice is worth it. <laughs> All right, last one. I protect, I stand tall. My purpose is to strike fear in all. What am I? Scarecrow? Yep. Ooh. That wasn't really a riddle so much as just describing a scarecrow. Uh, so I can't really take much credit for I that. I didn't write the riddles. No. So, I can't believe we did fucking 14 of them film ones at the beginning. 12 fucking music ones. And now we've done three of them. Why you got curse so much, man? I'm just calm down. <laughs> just got a bit excited. Sorry, a rush of blood. Okay, so the scores on the doors are fifteen seven. That ain't as bad as it usually is. Yeah, you redeemed yeah. yourself somewhat. I mean, it's still, you're still an absolute smashing. But you know, like, well, well done. Okay, so Josh, to redeem yourself, there's a quick fire questions round here. Oh yeah. We get thirty seconds. It's all or nothing. So if you answer more of your questions correctly than Adam does, so this is turn based. So you go as an go. <coughs> yeah. So you don't, you don't need for the buzzer. All right. No. Is Adam going first or am I going first? You go first. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get the time up. Okay, 30 seconds. Starts. Now, what vegetable is traditionally carved at Halloween? Pumpkin. What is the name of the classic Halloween song by Michael Jackson? Thriller. What animals are associated with witches? Black cats. What phrase, is, uh, what phrase do children typically say when they visit a house on Halloween? Trick or treat. What was the original name of Halloween? Pass. <laughs> what date is Halloween celebrated on? 31st of October. Which country celebrates the Day of the Dead? Mexico. Which country is believed to be the birthplace of Halloween? Pass. What is traditional Halloween game where participants try to catch apples with their teeth? Uh... Bobbing for apples. <laughs> Apple bobbing. All right. Give you the benefit that of the doubt for that yeah. one. So you scored two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well so done, mate. You've got to get more than seven. Okay, you ready? Haven't I got the protection of like having scored far more in the other rounds? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Don't, don't try. All right, I'll, I'll, just, I'll t take it as it comes, man. I'll give Josh everything you can. All right, ready? Yeah. What is the name of the supernatural serial killer in the Halloween movie franchise? Uh, uh, Jason Voorhees. No, Michael Myers. In which country did the tradition of trick-or-treating originate? America. No, Canada. <laughs> what oh, is the day after Halloween called? Uh, All Saints Day. Yeah. Which famous magician died on Halloween in 1926? Harry Houdini. Yeah. Which country produces the most pumpkins? Uh, Switzerland. No, China. <laughs> what is the infamous nickname of the serial killer Ted Bundy? <laughs> Fucking, I don't know, man. Zac Efron. <laughs> What's the name of Dr. Frankenstein's assistant? Ah, uh, oh, fucking, I've forgotten. I've fucking read the book as well. I, I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. It was Igor. Oh, that was it, yeah. You got fucked on that. There. Got I got, I got like Trivial Pursuit kids and you got the, you got the adult cards. <laughs> Josh wins. <laughs> <laughs> he could win as, mu as much as he likes. I don't give every contest we do, he could win as long as he eats that stinky fish. Do you want to see your prize? Yeah. Ah, some of those one, right. qu one quid muffins oh, yeah, from Tesco. Yeah, I'll catch it. Oh, <laughs> no. Six Halloween cupcakes from Sainsbury's. Would you like one, Adam? No, thank you. Sainsbury's spared no expense. That's, that's very nice. Thank you. 
You know, Lin's, wait, wait. Lin's got one of those the other day. Um, like a, two two cupcakes, Max and Spencer's, right? And they were about that size. But the frosting went up to like there. So it looked like the bun was huge. Yeah. But it was like that much frosting oh. on top. Why she, is why she in that? I thought, I thought. She just wants to try because it it's like bright colors. She's like a three year old. So yeah. You see stuff like that. She's, oh, that's bright. I'll try I, it. I made the looks at this and went, Tilly's eating these. <laughs> that <laughs> that George, you can have some as well. I bet the sponge is dry as fuck and then I, you won't even be able to tell, but it just tastes like sugar. I tried, I tried looking for some mead, but they don't have it in Sainsbury's. I've, I, I need to stop drinking that. Like, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got two more bottles at, um, at the weekend. Is, yeah. <laughs> is it just like pure sugar? Like, what's, no, the, what's the calorie? Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's breakdown because it's like it distilled sugar. Can you it? send us the macro breakdown of the stress, stress drumming? Or so it's coming. So I don't yeah. think that's, the calories aren't going to be a problem there, mate. <laughs> It's all about the games. Because you're probably going to lose them as soon as you go. (laughs) (laughs) Should we finish on uh, Fessel? Finish on Fessel. And then we're going on to like, I I want to do the Patreon segment. I don't even know what this is, but like, I don't think I want to (laughs) know. I like that we're doing this now. I like that we're doing like an extra section, extra sections afterwards. Okay, Fessel. A friend of a friend is getting into politics. Uh, He's been going further and further hard right wing and insufferable. I have photos of every Halloween since 1998. He dressed up as Mr. T seven times. <laughs> yes, he did what you're thinking. I can't wait for his campaign. <laughs> I've got a mate of mine who's like, a, he's like a paying member, you know, like the Labour Party. And I think at one point he was toying with the idea of like getting into politics. And he, just, he was just like, I don't think I can, boys, because of like all the shit that you've all got on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, that. Yeah, I tried to get him Halloween related. Um, okay, next one, last one. My dad put my mum's phone in her coffin with her for her burial. About three months later, I thought it would be funny to change her number on his phone to mine, and I texted him saying, get me out of this fucking box. <laughs> he didn't see the funny side and didn't speak to me for almost a year. <laughs> <laughs> that is ingenious, so it's got to be said. <laughs> see that video where that guy's coffin's been lowered and he's like got an audio recording that goes, help, get me out of here. He's like tapping on the coffin and stuff. <laughs> and all just laughing. That's a, I mean, that's, a, that's a bit, I don't know. I don't it's a bit I'm dark. Gonna, it's a dark at, humor. At the funeral, that'd be, I don't know if I'd be ready for that. <laughs> Depending on how much I cared about who was going at the ground. Yeah. I like it. Good there effort, go, George. Well done this week, mate, for putting that, that work in. Yeah, man, I enjoyed that. It was, it was a good laugh. I sounded really facetious, but I, did, I actually did enjoy it. I don't know how it sounds sincere anymore. Like, it's like, <laughs> I just lost me. <laughs> I can't do it. I never try to face me a compliment. It just sounds like I'm taking a piss. Lindsay come came downstairs the other day. She was like, "Do I look?" I was like, "You look beautiful, honey." And she just instantly went. I was, like, no, I was, I was yeah. trying to be honest. You look beautiful. And she's like, "Oh, all right." Uh, and then went and got changed. So I, anyway, well, it's been a, an honor and a, a privilege. Um, we didn't even mention that. Uh, I don't know if we should mention that that Amsterdam thing. That's Patreon. That's Patreon. All oh, right. <laughs> 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 Thanks now, for you know, now you know there's a reason to go over to Patreon. Yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We're going to go carry, on, carry this there's story a on. to not go over to Patreon now. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye.